If the hope that we are talking about to actually be renewed, it's the people that drive it. So we need the right people that will drive this agenda. And the man we are talking about, when you look at the history of what the artists did or what we are talking about in Lagos, you are the part of the people that built the Lagos. I know that him, the, the Aswaju Bola Ahmed Tunubu has the vision. But the vision is being, you know, it drives by people around him. Like I said, that he was two time commissioners the commissioner of youth and sport development at the time, and the commissioner of information and strategy at the time. So he knows what we are talking about. So coming at the national, the renewal agenda that we are talking about, they already part of that renewal. So if you look at the, 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 the man I want to talk about, Senator Michael, this is a man that has the heart of everyone around him. We've been with him, we know him too well. His antecedent speaks for him. So all we are praying and begging is that when it is zoned to Southwest, this man should be located. He has what it takes for us to have peace in this nation. But we are telling Nigerians, our civil society organization, to let us build a Senate that we have that good rapport with the president. Not just because he's from the Southwest. He understands the president so much. He knows how to relate with him on behalf of his colleagues. He knows how to get the best out of the executive. And this is what we need. And this is the kind of leader that the senior president himself, Senator Godfrey Dobot Apabio, needs as a leader to run the affair of the Senate together with him. Knowingly or knowingly, Senator Obeyemi Bayemidele has found himself in the hearts of the masses. And that is why Nigerian civil societies are campaigning to make sure that the right decision is being taken. Kudos to the National Assembly for guiding by good conscience in the last decision they have taken. And we are praying that by the grace of God, the decision they are going to take in not distant future by confirmation of Senator Obey Nibamidele as a Senate leader will also be guided by good conscience. <laughs>